grade 8 math number 4.2e linear versus nonlinear. A linear relationship occurs when there's a constant rate of change. So a straight line is made when the slope is the same between all the points. So we have a table here and we have a line. This is linear. If you look at the line, you can see all the points are nice and pretty in a row, aren't they? We can look at our table. This is point 1, point 2, point 3, point 4, point 5. And we can find the rate of change, the slope between the points. So if we follow the slope formula and do our second y value take away our first y value and our second x value take away our first x value, we can find our slope and the rate of change. So for the first one, we're going to take 0.2 and subtract 0.1's values. So we've got 6 take away 8 and negative 3 take away negative 6. 6 take away 8 gives us a negative 2. Negative 3 take away a negative 6. Well, remember when you subtract a negative, you add the opposite. So negative 3 plus 6 would be a positive 3. So we've got negative 2 over 3 as our slope. And that's for these two points. Now we're going to compare 3 to 2. So we've got 4 take away 6 and 0 take away negative 3. 4 take away 6 is a negative 2, and 0 take away a negative 3. We add the opposite, so it's 0 plus 3, we get 3. Look, it's the same. Negative 2 over 3. Now we're going to compare 0.4 to 0.3. We have 2 take away 4 and 3 take away 0. 2 take away 4 is a negative 2, and 3 take away 0 is a 3. Again, we have negative 2 over 3. We've got the same slope. And we do the last point, 0 take away 2 and 6 take away 3. And that's going to give us, again, a negative 2 over a 3. So the rate of the change is the same. The slope is the same. So this is linear. It's got the same rate of change for the slope. So each point, the slope is going down at the same rate. So we've got a nice smooth line. See that? Now let's take a look at this one. This one's nonlinear. A nonlinear relationship occurs when there's an inconsistent rate of change. The line is not straight when the slope changes between the points. So we look at our table of values. Here's point 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And for point 1, we have 1 and a 4.5 for y. See? I'll get a little closer for you. For point 2, it, x is on the 2 and y is on 6.5 right here. And then it's on a 3 and an 8.5. And then it goes to 4 and 9. See? That was inconsistent, wasn't it? Then it goes to x5 and 8. So it went back down. That wasn't very consistent, was it? And we can prove this by finding the rate of change, the slope, between the points. So we compare 2 and 1. So we have 6.5 take away 4.5 and 2 take away 1. 6.5 take away 4.5 is a 2. 2 take away 1 is 1, so the slope is two, rise and run is 2 over 1, and 2 over 1 is 2, right? So we can simplify this, and it would equal 2 for our slope. Now we're going to compare points 3 and point 2. So we have 8.5 take away 6.5, and 3 take away 2. 8.5 take away 6.5 is 2 again. 3 take away 2 is 1. That's 2 over 1 again. Well, that's kind of nice, isn't it? It's the same. So far, you'd think that our slope is the same and we'd have, it would be linear, right? Then we do the next one. We do 0.4 to 0.3. So we have 9 take away 8.5 and 4 take away 3 for our slope formula. Well, 9 take away 8.5 is only 0.5. 4 take away 3 is 1. Hmm. That's 0.5 over 1. That is not the same as these, is it? All right. Now we're going to compare... 0.5 to 0 0.4. 0 0.5 to 0 0.4. So we've got 8 take away 9 and 5 take away 4. So 8 take away 9 is a negative 1 and 5 take away 4 is 1. It differed, didn't it? It wasn't consistent. And because this slope kept changing, we know it's nonlinear. See that? As long as the slope was the same between all the points, we knew that it was a nice, pretty straight line. And the minute it became inconsistent and we got different measures for the slope, we knew this line was starting to 
change on us, wasn't it? It's nonlinear. So that's how you can tell if it's linear versus nonlinear. You can use the slope formula. You can even look at the table. We could have just looked at this table and we could tell that these numbers are not consistent, right? Okay, we're going to go on to the next topic. We're going to go on to 4.3. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget that I can post any of my whiteboards onto Twitter if you ask. Just tell me which one you want. You can keep it in a file or you can even print it and put it in your school folder, okay? And don't forget, I'm on Patreon.com if you want to become a monthly supporter. I'll see you next video. Bye.